Hi, my name is Rodrigo, and I'm here to show you, to help you, with conversion of Canon's proprietary VR2 files, which are RAW files, to normal JPEG files. So the first thing you will need is Canon's uh, program called Digital Photo Professional. The most recent one, the most recent version is... 4.3.00 as of August 14th, 2015. And you can download that by going to Canon's website and then going to downloads and selecting EOS cameras. Then down here you select the camera you have. It doesn't really matter because it'll work for any version, any camera, so in this case I'll choose mine which is EOS 7D and then you choose your operating system which is that one go to software and where is it you scroll down yeah choose your operating system again and you Scroll down, and here we go. Digital Photo Professional 4.3.0. Press download. Okay. Yeah, and now you have to put your serial number of the camera. So after you put your serial number, you submit, you download the application, the program, and then you install it. Once you install it, you can open it. I have it already installed. And then, yeah, you should navigate to the folder where your raw files are stored it's always a good idea to copy your raw files from your SD card to the PC yeah, I remember once I tried to open and convert the files that directly from my SD card and that wasn't a good idea I kind of destroyed the SD card it was too much and I almost lost all my photos on the SD card so it's a good idea to copy the SD, the photos, the, the raw photos to the SD card, from the SD card to your PC. Okay, so yes, so navigate to where your, your photos are. I have these four photos here. These are, are videos, so you can't do nothing. So you have these photos. Okay, so first thing you should You should select your photos and press here, tool palette. The shortcut, which is just control T. Okay, so select the photos, control T. And yeah, and also the first time when you use this, you should go here. And you should add your lens to the system, to the application, because everybody knows, even Canon knows, that lens and lenses aren't perfect. They all have problems, even the more expensive ones. And Canon, they allow you to correct these problems. So yeah, so you open the tool palette, press this little thing here, and you wait, yeah, and you add the, the lenses you have. There's a big list here full of lenses. You add the ones you have. I have these three, and the application knows that these four photos were taken with this lens. Okay, so once you choose the lens you have, you press start, you download everything, and then it should be fine. So here in Tools Palette, it's with the four photos chosen and the lenses installed, you press Digital Lens Optimizer. Yeah, and now 
the program is correcting the CRF2 files, the raw files. And depending on how many you have and the processor, if your computer your speed, this might take a while. Well, let's just finish. Okay, it's done. So now all four photos are optimized. You can see it has a little symbol here, and before it didn't. Okay, and one thing you can close that. One thing I like to do is to close everything. You save, and you reopen. Yeah, now that I think of it, you could just press here, save as, it would have been, would have been the same thing, but it doesn't matter now. Okay, so you press these four, and press save, and over here, you choose where you want to save your new JPEG files. I have it in this folder, and then you, here you press save as JPEG. And here, the image quality. I've been doing tests, and I s I've noticed that when it's here to seven, it's it's pretty good. Com uh, the com the um, the ratio of quality and file size, seven is normally good. You can go to eight, nine, ten, and the quality isn't much much better, but the the size of the new JPEG files they're larger. I recommend putting it to 7 and yeah okay then you press execute and depending on how many photos you have and your PC speed this might take a while you can just cancel this or if you just want if you just have one photo you can just Select one photo, press save. Yeah, it's more or less the same window. So you just choose where you want to save image quality seven, and you save. Yeah, I've noticed that if you try to convert many photos at the same at the same time, the my PC normally hangs and the application stops. I normally select and convert around maybe six to eight files at a time. But yeah, that's how you convert CR2 files, raw, Canon RAW files to JPEG. I hope I w it was helpful, this video was helpful. And if you have any more questions, just leave a comment and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.